Hospitals across the country are facing major challenges, and emergency rooms are overwhelmed. Health workers are experiencing significant strain and are running out of stream. Canadians are extremely concerned, and so am I. Canadians, patients, caregivers, and health workers all want results, and we remain committed to working collaboratively with all our partners to do things differently. We will do so by focusing on the ends rather than the means, because as we can see now, the old way of doing things does not work. I remain committed to working with my provincial and territorial counterparts to improve health services for everyone. And that is why at last month's health minister's meeting, I confirmed that we are ready to further increase health care investments through the Canada Health Transfer. In addition, we are ready to invest more in funding through tailor-made agreements with provinces and territories that will allow us to provide better care to Canadians. We owe it to Canadians to come together and find immediate and longer-term solutions to address those challenges. This brings me to my first update. Parents and caregivers have been particularly concerned about their difficulty to find children's analgesics. As of today, over 2 million additional bottles of these medicines have been made available to parents and caregivers through increased domestic supply and foreign importation. I can also, I can also confirm that the drug company Elon estimates that an additional 800,000 bottles for this month will be available at pharmacies and retailers across Canada. The influx of new products should help parents manage their kids' symptoms at home as we continue to experience a surge of respiratory illnesses across the country. With cold and flu season off to an earlier start than anticipated, we need to protect the overburdened health workers by doing everything we can to stay healthy especially as we enter the holiday season. That includes staying up to date on our vaccinations. There are safe and effective vaccines available for both the flu and COVID-19, and these are available to everyone in Canada over the age of six months. And today is a great anniversary in that regard. Two years ago, on that exact date, the largest vaccination campaign in the history of Canada was launched. 95 million doses of vaccines against COVID-19 have been administered since then. The National Advisory Committee on Immunization has also recently recommended that children six months of age and older can safely receive a COVID-19 vaccine at the same time as other recommended childhood vaccines, including the flu shot. This being said, we're still learning about COVID-19 and there remains much to learn about how it affects human health over the long term. What we do know is that even a mild COVID-19 infection or reinfection can cause real long-term consequences for individuals, communities, and our healthcare system. Evidence shows that almost 15% of adults who were infected with COVID-19 experience longer-term COVID-19 symptoms. The nature and severity of these long-term effects can vary from person to person, and these effects are collectively known as post-COVID-19 condition, also referred to as long COVID. To support Canadians who are living with the longer-term effects of that virus, the Government of Canada is working with all experts to better understand this condition. In July 2022, Dr. Niemer, Canada's Chief Science Advisor, established the Task Force on Post-COVID-19 Condition to develop a scientific framework for managing long COVID. Pour soutenir les Canadiens et les